New tonight, the city of Greenville wants and needs your help to make the streets safer for pedestrians. They're hosting a safety open house tomorrow. They want to hear from you. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson has more. Officials say 88% of pedestrian accidents result in injuries and 7% result in deaths. Stats like these will be presented at Wednesday's meeting in hopes of finding solutions together. Whether it's streets with no sidewalks. It's really off the chain. It is not safe to be walking. Or areas where they can be seen. And it's wherever around the corner like they're about to hit you. People don't want to stop. Some people like Meech Master have concerns about walking on Greenville's roads. The city has hired safety consultants to review more than 60 roads. Their data shows from 2016 to 2021, there were 173 pedestrian accidents. We also know they're happening more in the fall and the winter, um, more on Thursdays and Fridays. The study shows these accidents are happening more often during the day rather than at night. The cause 20% of pedestrians improperly cross the streets, while 28% of drivers failed to yield the right of way. They do not care about your life whatsoever. And then the general safety, no, because people are going like 60 and a 25 over here. It's insane. And I've yet to see anyone be pulled over for doing all these ridiculously dangerous things. City officials want to hear from drivers and pedestrians at a meeting on Wednesday night. The people who are pushing strollers, riding bikes, walking to work, walking to downtown, they know what it feels like to be here and we want that input. I hope that one, one person out of however many just could get it through their mind. I'm going to drive a little bit safer because what if that was my relative out there? The pedestrian safety open house will be a drop in style. It will be held at the Welcome Center at Unity Park on tomorrow from 530 to 730 p.m. In Greenville, Asia Wilson, 7 News. And the consultants will not only present the data to everyone tomorrow night, but will also provide options for solutions.